Hello everybody and welcome to LaChamba.com. My name is Neil Rodriguez. So it is pouring outside. If you gotta go to work right now in New York City around 7 p.m., you better throw on enough scuba gear to take a deep sea dive and find a Titanic because it is raining up. Okay, I'm about to go to work tomorrow in a wetsuit and some swimming fins. For real. All right, let's get to it. Yesterday, April 19, 2009, Sunday was the anniversary of the Oklahoma City bombing in 1995. My condolences to all the families. Timothy McVeigh, performing some research on Timothy McVeigh, found that he was a very emotionally disturbed, emotionally disturbed individual. He had a number of frustrations with which to deal. Okay, when he went to the military, everything went well, but then he tried out for the armed forces, did not make it. All right, then afterwards he worked as a security guard. He didn't make it in, into the special forces, actually, the special forces because he didn't meet the fitness requirements. Then he came home, he went to work as a security guard. He tried to woo a fellow co worker who ignored him. So, he had a number of frustrations. A lot of people, they work all their lives in order to become a special forces operative. All right, so it may have been a lifelong dream, and he failed at it. They said that he was so into it that. While he was in the army, or while he was in the military, I'm for, I forgot which branch with which he was a part, but while he was in the military, people would go out to the bars, they would hit the clubs, go party, he'd be home studying weaponry, studying weapons, studying explosives. So it appears that it was a lifelong dream and it got crushed. Didn't happen for him, a frustration with which he had to deal. Okay? The romance party, failed at romance, then he was, he started to project his anger by first off in the military first in the military he was wearing white power shirts then when he got back home he was always protesting against the government he left that security job because he got frustrated with it all right he was blaming a lot of what's go what was going on what was going wrong what was going on wrong in his life on the government he started blaming things on other people so he was real angry when he got affiliated with the Ku Klux Klan okay and a lot of anger I I don't know where his anger originated, but I know that a lot of anger originates, it comes from fear. Fear, remember fear, remember the word fear. False emotions appearing real. All right, repeat that to yourself. I have repeated it to myself because I still fear, I still feel fear at times. False emotions appearing real. That's all it is, false emotions appearing real. On the job search, there are times when you feel fear. I felt fear, right, I felt fear to the point that I don't know if I'm going to be able to pay my rent in time, be able to pay my bills, if the bill collector is going to start calling me and hammering the phones and asking for the phone bill, the light bill, the cable bill, all right? Eventually, thank God, something comes through and I'm able to come home, be able to put food on the table and everything happens, all right? Some things come together and like I said before, I had it, it came down to the point where I had to supplement my income selling Avon lipstick, all right? I took it to that extent. Okay, because when I felt fear, I would smack myself back into place, focus, so I had to structure a plan, a different plan, ensure that I learned something else, and executed and, and tried different things until I found something that worked. Because that's all life is about, man. You're a mad scientist misking, f mixing flasks into a big vat or a big formula that translates into something successful eventually in the form of a job, in the form of a business, but you have to ensure that emotions do not cloud your judgment. It appears that this man had emotions running his life to the point that he became a mass murderer. Now, I'm not going to say that any of you are going to become mass murderers if you let your emotions get out of control, but it will cloud your judgment. It will stop you from getting what you want in life. So don't do it. Please promise me that you will not let emotions cloud your judgment. Take emotion out of it as much as possible. Now, it's kinda, it's not as simple as it seems because emotions, they move you. That's why, someone told me that, that's why it's called emotion, because it moves you, all right? He, I think it, he said it stood for energy and then the motion, it moves you to do things. You, you work in order to stay, to be happy, all right? If you are putting food on the table, if you're paying your rent on time, it's making you feel happy. All right, if you're buying a new car, that new ride, that new Toyota 4Runner that hugs the road so nicely and that takes those bumps like if you're floating on clouds, all those are feelings. All, all of those things for which you work are feelings. 
All right, they're all feelings, so it is emotionally based. But you have to ensure that those emotions, you have to ensure, ensure that you take those emotions, if it be it fear, be it anger, harness them, and then take that energy, convert them into energy, and use those things productively. Use that energy productively in order to structure your resume, wipe the pimple pus off your mirror, memorize your lines until your teeth turn white in the shower instead of singing in the rain. Okay, memorize your lines, ensure that when you hit that interview, you know that you are going to get that offer. All right, I had it to the point. All right, and I could still get it to the point where I know I will get an offer because I'll have it memorized to the point that I know exactly what they are going to ask me. And even if I don't know what they are going to ask me, sometimes you got to fool yourself a little bit. Even if I don't know what they're going to ask me, I've memorized my lines to the point that I could speak extemporaneously, speak, I could go in there and improvise a response that is one, truthful, and second, demonstrates how I can contribute towards that organization's bottom line. So avoid any type of frustration, take all of these emotions out of it, and think with a clear mind on how you are going to get the next job that you want. I thank you for watching. My name is Neil Rodriguez. Until next time.